and welcome. As North Dakotans, we know where it can rain, it can flood. The North Dakota State Water Commission makes it easy to understand your flood risk with the new North Dakota Risk Map Assessment Map Service, or NDRAM. This tool gives you a visual display of your flood risk and how your property would be affected during a major flood event. NDRAM was created and designed to be a one-stop shop resource for flood risk information. In this short video, we are going to explore how to get started using NDRAM and take the platform for a test drive. You can access NDRAM at ndram.swc.nd.gov from a desktop computer, a tablet, or mobile phone. As long as you have access to the internet, NDRAM is there. When you visit ndram.swc.nd.gov, you will be greeted with a disclaimer and contact information box. If you would like to validate any of the data, have a success story to share, or find a bug that is in need of correcting, please don't hesitate to contact us with the information found on this page. Once you choose, I accept, you are ready to explore the platform. Now, let's start our test drive. It's good to get yourself familiar with some of the basic navigation buttons you see on the screen. One of the first things you will notice is the layers at the top left corner of the screen. Anything you see in dark blue is your active layer or active tab for information you are looking at. You can choose from the three tabs at the top, Flood, Property, and Weather. We'll cover each of these tabs soon, but first, some navigation. Some of the basic navigation buttons include the back and forward view buttons, or previous zoom level, or next zoom level. This lets you toggle between screens. Next, we have the original viewpoint button, or zoom to full extent. This lets you reset your view to the statewide screen. Then there is the hand icon, or pan map button. This lets you scroll or move across the map without changing your zoom. There are also zoom in and zoom out buttons depending on how close you want to get in the view. And finally, a very important one, the get information button. This is where you can pull information from the data standpoint and start getting zone designations and or elevations. Now that we're familiar with our navigation buttons, let's check out the three different tabs at the top left of the screen. With the flood tab, you can choose either to view the regulatory firm also known as the Flood Insurance Rate Map, or Base Level Engineering, BLE, Flood Information. If you want to populate the legend information, you can choose Show Full FEMA Legend. If you want to download data, it will prompt you to visit one of the FEMA sites that houses the data sets, either the Flood Map Service Center or Flood Maps Changes Viewer. We also have a print map option. This is where you can create a firm at like document and print screen of what you are viewing, including all the technical information and its sourcings. It also includes the FEMA community ID and zone designation. This is a great feature as part of the NDRAM tool, and we hope it comes in handy. That's a summary of the flood tabs option. Now on to the property tab. This is where you can find out more about an individual structure by searching the unique address in the 911 system. You can enter the house number and the zip code to search any address that meets that criteria. There is also a weather tab that is used as a catch-all for information you may want to use to help inform the nature of current conditions. Now, on to a real-world example. We can zoom into the city of Bismarck here. Bismarck helped work with the North Dakota State Water Commission during the development of the system before it officially launched. The city worked through the platform to help inform their floodplain management program and help improve the quality of information during NDRAM's development. The City of Bismarck has a regulatory data set and detailed flood mapping, which is greatly impacted by the continuous study along the Missouri River. You'll notice the color scheme follows the current colors on FEMA's updated firm products. Anything in orange is the 0.2% annual chance floodplain, also known as a 500-year event, and is considered a moderate risk flood zone. The blue is a 1% annual chance flood zone, also known as the 100-year event, and is considered a high-risk flood zone. This is where the National Flood Insurance Program requires insurance coverage for any federally-backed mortgage. The red and blue cross-hatch pattern is the regulatory floodway. 
This area has higher standards for any development activity in the floodway. As we move around the map and zoom into the floodplain on the south side of town, we can see the digital version of the regulatory firm products. This is where you can start looking at elevations or searching for properties. For example, if you click the information button and give a point of reference on the map, it will automatically generate the property in the nearest proximity to your point. If your point is in the high risk flood zone or 1% annual chance zone, it will prompt you to go to the community's floodplain administrator for additional information. The North Dakota State Water Commission designed this tool to be very upfront and clear with notifying everyone of their flood risk and who an individual should reach out to for additional information. Once you've clicked on the point of reference, you will notice that the regulatory flood information will populate. Information such as firm panel effective dates, panel number, flood zone designation, and the GIS reference data will show. Now for the base level engineering tab. The base level engineering is meant to help further inform the regulatory firm products as a non-regulatory data set. They are a valuable resource for those areas where the regulatory firm products do not call out or show information due to an unstudied area or an area where localized flooding occurs. You will notice the depth grid on the bottom left with a visual representation of the flood depth with a vehicle and a family. Now let's go to the property tab and run a search. Let's go to the city of Elmont in Morton County, zip code 58520. It's interesting to look at the city of Elmont because according to the available FEMA firm products, the city of Elmont has no mapped risk due to the fact that FEMA has never conducted a full FEMA risk study for the city. So if you look at the regulatory firm information, anything in the city of Elmont is zone X. The city of Elmont falls at the confluence of two waterways, Hailstone Creek and the Big Muddy Creek. When you select the base level engineering layer, you'll notice the city of Elmont has substantial flood risk. You'll also notice more detailed information such as structures or possible mitigation actions, like a levee to help protect from flooding. Base level engineering takes a rain on grid modeling approach, which tracks how water will move across the land. To look at this, let's go back to the city of Bismarck, which has detailed modeling on the Apple Creek system. With the regulatory information, you can see the floodway and the 1% annual chance flood event. According to the regulatory information, there is little flood risk outside of the Apple Creek system. When you select the base level engineering, you will see that there is a substantial amount of drainage coming out of the area flowing to Apple Creek. This information is incredibly valuable for future development and master drainage plans. It can help inform decision making for communities and individual property owners. If you are looking at a property and want to use the NDRAM to help understand your flood risk, again, you can select Print Screen to create a PDF of the information. You can use this print map PDF or hard copy to capture the detailed information and help inform conversations with insurance agents or others. Other data and information available when you look up the property includes a 50-foot radius of the ground elevations associated with that point. You can see the minimum elevation, which may be the lowest corner of your property or even a walkout basement. You can find the max ground elevation to see the grade change from the highest point. There is also an average of the 50-foot radius at that point. The ground elevation where clicked is very important to use because you can find out very specific locations, like each corner of the lot or even your driveway. The LIDAR information being referenced is certified, so you can access the LIDAR for Loma certification letter from the NDRAM platform in the lower left corner. Last but not least, the Weather tab includes other very important information. On the NOAA NEXTRAD radar layer, you can see live weather radar provided by the National Weather Service. On the current warnings layer, you can see where there might be any type of weather warnings from thunderstorms and flooding to high winds. On the observed river stage, you can access various river gauges throughout the state with color-coded stages. The significant river flood outlook shows the river activity, even on a national level. The snow water equivalent layer shows how much water is captured in the snowpack that might be on the ground. This is incredibly important during the spring melt. That is NDRAM in a nutshell. The NDRAM system is a valuable online tool to get risk information in a user-friendly way. It provides technical and visual information meant to start a conversation. 
It is important for all North Dakotans to recognize the risk in their communities and to talk about future mitigation actions. We hope that you have enjoyed this video, and we encourage you to explore the NDRAM system for yourself 